Hey YouTube. So it's just as luck would have it. I brought the bike out. And I get rained on. So now, I'm sort of rushing to get it dried again so I can give you guys a nice close up of how she looks. Here she is. 2006. I cleaned her. I just finished cleaning her all up. They're all looking pretty and everything. Is that a cobweb in there? That is a cobweb. I'm gonna have to get in there and clean that up. So yeah, this is it. This is the new bike. Let's see, now she's all wet. So 2006 with uh this is pretty much my introduction and my first 100 kilometer video uh, first um 65 miles so let me start off by what i got with it i got i got the gb case the V47 model lock system. Uh, along with that, he gave me three helmets. He gave me. The guy gave me three helmets. I got my own helmet in here now, plus my cover. He gave me. It'll fit uh, two full face helmets in there. He gave me a HJC full face small helmet, which fits my girlfriend perfectly. And he gave me a, uh, he gave me two V can uh, shorty helmets. And uh, the case, so the case itself probably goes for about $300 US before taxes, so probably about $360 Canadian before taxes. And the helmets were probably, I would say, the, the HJC is probably about $100. And the two half shorty helmets probably. I don't know, on special, maybe you can get them for about uh, 50 bucks a pop. So that's what. In the case is three, the helmet's one, plus another one, that's about $500 in $500 in freebies, which was awesome. I can't, I can't, uh, can't complain there. I put some boating product on here today, and the rain is washing it all off. Thank you, Rain. Thank you very much. So, yeah. So, my first 100 kilometers or my first 65 miles. What do I like about the bike? I love the riding position. It's so laid back. It's so comfortable. Uh, mind you, I'm sure it will be improved once i get out on the highway with it it'll probably be even more relaxing um i love the storage i mean there's nothing i feel as though there's nothing i can't bring with me <laughs> when i go out on a on a trip or on a ride i mean like my imagination is pretty much the limitation um what else what else what else what else did i like oh yeah i love the I love the top case. You know, for a free top case, you couldn't ask for a better top case. I think those are the best on the market. So the seat is excellent. It's very different from the Zuma. The Zuma. I found the Zuma was on the Zuma. I probably had about I don't know this much, this much seating space, which I complained about in one of my videos. 
and uh, now I have all of this here plus the back support you feel like a boss driving this this is like the Cadillacs this and the Bergman are probably the Cadillac and Lincoln of the scooter world oh. I really like that I love the the motor the motor and the power combined I don't know boys I don't know it's pretty effing pretty effing awesome when you twist that bad boy and you go I had a 600 CBR 600 it was the older one it was actually the first year of the CBRs and um, it didn't have this much power no not, not nothing near that if it did it was very under tuned or it was just old so it lost a lot of its power but uh, yeah this here is awesome I really like that you got the handbrake right here and the tires are good they're Dunlops I believe and uh, yeah that's what I like so so my first review for my first hundred kilometers I would say it was a it was a great great experience a great first hundred kilometers can't wait to do another hundred and plan on going a little bit further Oh, the sun's coming out now. That's great. Perfect. Perfect. You could see the uh, sparkles in the paint. So you're going to see there's some scratches right here. This is from the uh, from the pre from the previous owner uh, ratchet strapping it down to his to his tr uh, pickup truck. And actually the the clan the um, the straps itself or the hooks just kept moving every time he cranked on it so but besides that there's a few scratches on it but it's the sole like i said you know the motor and the seating position i can't i couldn't ask for anything better and for the price that i paid oh, 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 yeah the price i paid i'm pretty happy with that so yeah so two thumbs up for my first 100 kilometers now you guys get to see it let me go back and give you guys a better view from an angle. She's definitely long. Long and low. Another thing is, if somebody's going to ask, probably would ask, uh, how does she handle, or I mean at low speeds, you definitely, I've noticed you definitely have to, um, you definitely have to plan ahead. Plan ahead meaning you almost have to be one step ahead of what you'll do in uh, in the way of maneuvers. If you're going to park in a parking lot, you should have already picked your line of how you're going to swing the bike, uh, swing the bike around into the parking, whether you're going to back it in, if it's a back in spot, if you're able to back in, or if you're going to go nose first, because if you go into a parking spot say like this here and you realize after you want to uh, turn it around she's a she's a good she's a heavy heavy girl so you have to make sure you have some strong legs I don't recommend this for anybody with weak legs or you know out of shape definitely have to have some strong legs to to hold her up so yeah so that's what i mean by uh thinking ahead you definitely have to think ahead plan ahead when you're going to make maneuvers in a uh in a tight situation even in traffic as well i tend to look uh trying to look uh, and calculate things prior to uh, situations arriving so i could be prepared in case i have to uh have to divert from my plan and take a plan b so yeah, that's it. So this is uh, Maxi Scooter Guy signing off. My first 100 kilometer impression and first presentation of the uh, of the scooter. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Let me show you how this case comes off. So I like this. This is really trick. This is really really trick. So you put the key in here, turn it, push this button here pops up pull lift and pull there you have it 90% of the time I'll probably ride around without the case
but uh, she does still look mean without the case. And to put it back on, just reverse the process, line up those tabs, click it down, push it down, click, make sure she's in. I've, I've heard a lot of stories about people people not locking their cases in properly and taking off down the highway and then the uh, top case comes flying off their bike that would suck okay so yeah guys thanks for watching don't forget to stay tuned for more interesting videos if you like the way she looks hit me up with a thumbs up if you have any questions about the bike feel free to ask for all those, for all my subscribers, I thank you guys. And for all those who just watch from time to time, I also appreciate you guys. You guys are usually, it's usually the non-followers who, who usually comment and ask questions, I find. Oh, don't be shy, guys. This is YouTube after all, and we're a community. We have a similar interest, so we can relate. Anyways, from now, I'm out, guys. Thanks. Hi, I want to thank all my subscribers for watching. This is 125 the Guy. And if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's no better time to do so than the present. Stay tuned for more interesting scooter vlogs, easy how-to repair videos, and scooter product testing and reviews.